Hey, phonics professors. Welcome to phonics workshop. Uh, er, uh, er, today I want to teach you, er, er, what was it again? Er, er, oh yeah, er, that sound. That sound is very tricky because a lot of words that look different, that are spelled different, make that sound er like let's try it try it with the word bird right like bird it looks like maybe it should be spelled like that but that doesn't look right to us right so bird actually is spelled like this but that i still makes the er sound. Huh, that's really interesting. Let's try it a few, let's try another one. Let's try burp. Burp. <laughs> we talked about farts yesterday, today we'll talk about burps. So will you grab a piece of paper or your whiteboard and will you write the word burp on it? Do you hear the er in the middle? It's there. Try writing it three ways. I'm gonna do that on my paper too. And then we can look and see which one we think might look the most right. You ready? Let's see. This is how I wrote it three ways. So I have it for er with an ER, I have it with an IR, and then I did it with a UR. And guess what? Guess which one is right? It looks the most right, this one. That's how burp is spelled. Isn't that wild? <laughs> and it still makes that er sound. So that's interesting. ER makes that er sound, IR makes that er sound, and UR makes that er sound. That's not all. So many other things make that er sound. Ready? Let's try writing doctor three different ways. So you take out your piece of paper, go ahead, write doctor. You hear the er, like tiger or flower. Okay, do you have it three different ways, doctor? All right, I did too. I kind of messed up a little there. I had to squeeze the C in. So I've got O-R, I-R, and E-R. And guess which one looks the most right or is right? This one. So that er sound also can be made with O-R. Oh my goodness. And that's not all. <laughs> that er sound is so tricky. There is another one. Ready? Try to write calendar. Let's see. Take out your paper, write calendar. You hear the er at the end? Calendar. Yeah, at this point, I bet you're catching on it's gonna be something you don't expect. So I tried it three different ways. Do you see which one looks the most right? It's the one in the middle. This is the one that's right. I know, it's crazy. So that er also has AR. How are you gonna remember which one is right? Well, I've got a trick for you to help you remember which spelling that makes the ER sound, the ER sound, not necessarily ER, it makes the ER sound, but it could be spelled using lots of different letters. So here's a sentence to help us remember how the ER sound is spelled the most likely way. So as you go over this sentence, each of these spellings make the er sound 
And this one, the first one here in the word her is the most likely, right? So the sentence goes, her first nurse works the early calendar. So when you're trying to spell a word that has the er sound, the most likely way, the most common way is er, er. Then the second most common way is ir, like in first. The third most common way is you are, like in nurse. The fourth most common way is e or, like in works. Then early is not very common. And thankfully, the AR, like calendar, is not very common either. So you can try each of these ways and then look at the word and think which way looks the most right to me or ask someone to, to help you think which one looks right to me and try a few different ways. So today in your writing, I want you to try that. Whenever you're trying to write a word that has an R controlled vowel, try it a few different ways to see which way looks the most right to you. Off you go.